Joining us to discuss this issue further is political analyst Tahir Shah. Tahir, thank you for joining us today. Now, how much of the concern does the gaining momentum of Pegida have? Well, it has to be looked at um, in a wider context. Um, it is extremely concerning because Pegida, as well as other organizations, are springing up in various countries all around Europe, all with the same theme, which is that Muslims are taking over Europe somehow and that this must be resisted. The point of, this move, of these movements are to create political pressure on the policymakers to act in a more Islamophobic fashion and make life more uncomfortable for Muslims living in Europe. Now, we've seen that there have been incidents of violence against migrants like the fire last week. What can be done to stem the momentum of this group altogether? I think a greater awareness of these movements and a counter-narrative that is put out by Muslims and non-Muslims alike about the real facts. So things like um, the actual number of Muslims in Europe get exaggerated by the far right. And, you know, it, is, it becomes kind of a popular na um, narrative that there are many more Muslims than there are actually are in these various countries. So I think that making sure that the facts are understood by the wider population, I think that's a very important step in, in countering the narrative of these far-right groups. And um, what about immigration? I mean, obviously, this is a cause for concern for these far-right groups. Is it something that should be stemmed or, or, or should be allowed? Well, immigration is a complicated matter. It's a kind of, in, in some ways, it's a self-inflicted wound. Because if you look at what's going on in the Middle East, there's absolute chaos. Libya, one, the Gaddafi was not free. But if you look at Libya now, Libya is in absolute chaos and people are fleeing the country. So you're seeing waves of migrants from Libya and other countries such as Egypt and obviously Gaza trying to get into Europe because of the actual turmoil that they are facing. And of course, the biggest one of them all is Syria. So a lot of Syrian refugees have ended up in Germany and are swelling the numbers of migrants in, those, in, in that country. I mean, you mentioned refugees. We know that Germany has become one, the number one destination in Europe for asylum seekers. Uh, what measure can Germany take to integrate refugees and immigrants into German society? You mentioned a counter-narrative. I mean, you know, is it something that the German government can take on board? I think so. I think this is a very important thing for policymakers to look at how to integrate um, refugees better. I mean, G Germany is no soft touch. Remember, no immigrants get automatic German citizenship. Even second generation migrants do not have a right to become German citizens. So Germany is not a soft touch anyway. But I think things like making sure that you know, language, making sure that work skills, making sure that education is available to these immigrants is a very important thing. Tahir Shah, thank you very much for joining us today.